I'm Coach Amy and today's recipe is my Chunky Monkey Overnight Oats. Now the nice thing about overnight oats are that the combinations are endless. So the recipe I'm going to show you today is for mine, that my favorite, which is Chunky Monkey. And um, I'm going to give you the base of any overnight oats recipe and then you just add what you like. So again, combinations are endless. This is just one example. So for any overnight oats, you're always going to want to use one half cup of oatmeal one half cup of plain Greek yogurt, and one half cup of milk of your choice. I prefer almond milk. Um, now I use the vanilla. Make sure you get an unsweetened version. If you're gonna use almond milk, a lot of them contain a lot of extra added sugars if you get the flavored, but um, most places will have unsweetened vanilla available. So that's my milk of choice. Again, you could use regular milk, um, oat milk, whatever you prefer. So I'm gonna start with a larger bowl, and I'm going to add the oats first. So again, this is an easy one to remember. It's just one half cup, one half cup, one half cup, and add whatever you like. Okay. All right, next I'm gonna add my yogurt. And again, uh, Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt is perfect. Um, the flavored varieties tend to have a lot of better added sugars. So when you use the plain, this is a good way to doctor it up. Maybe add a little bit of sweetness if you like. Okay, and these also are great to meal prep. So you can make a couple of these and leave them in the fridge to have for breakfast throughout the week. Okay, and last but not least, my milk. And I'm gonna give you a couple options for storing them as well. Um, these are great to use in mason jars if you have mason jars. Um, I actually have one. I'll grab real quick and show you. Uh, this size is perfect. Sometimes I'll store them in here. And this is a 8 ounce. So 8 ounces is perfect for this size recipe. I'm actually going to use these glass containers that I have here. Um, I think I may have found these at Target. But again, these are the perfect size for overnight oats. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this together. Now, it's gonna seem thin now, but as this sits overnight and those oats soak up the milk and the uh, yogurt, it's gonna thicken up. So um, even the next day when you go to eat this, check the consistency. Sometimes I do end up adding a little bit of almond milk in the morning just to thin it out a little bit. Um, it's gonna depend on what you put in here too. Um, things like chia seeds, like chia seeds soak up a lot of liquid. So if you add chia seeds to this, you're more than likely gonna have to add more milk because they're gonna take up a lot of the liquid. Okay, so next for my toppings, um, I love banana. Like I said, this is Chunky Monkey. So banana is going in there, um, almond butter, pumpkin seeds, coconut flakes, and sometimes I use dark chocolate chips, but um, today I'm gonna use cacao nibs. And these are basically called nature's dark chocolate. There are a ton of antioxidants in here. This is a really great superfood. It doesn't have the sweetness of chocolate, but it's more like a dark chocolate. It's got that bitterness and it has a good crunch to it too. So this is my go-to. All right, I'm just gonna dice my banana up. You wanna dice it up small too, just because we're gonna be storing it in these containers and this will help save space. So I'm gonna do about a half a banana. Now what I do is I'll pour this mixture in the glass jar and then I like to put all the toppings on top. Again, that's just my preference. You could mix it all together if you like. I just like to have that crunch on top. It's kind of like a regular bowl of oatmeal, you know, when you add the nuts and the seeds to it. I like to have it on top. Same thing goes with smoothie bowls too. You know, as much as I love smoothies, I love to chew food too. So I like to put some stuff on top. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna add the oatmeal mixture to the glass jar. And these, you know, you can make a handful of these at once. They'll hold up pretty good for a couple days. So sometimes I might make like four or five to last me through the entire week. All right, so see, uh, an eight ounce jar is just about perfect size. It still leaves you some room to add the toppings. So next I'm gonna add my bananas. And sometimes it's a little, not, not quite enough room to stir. So instead of stirring with a spoon, sometimes I'll just take a butter knife and kind of mix everything together the next morning. All right, um, this is my favorite almond butter. This is the Kirkland brand from Costco. And I love to drizzle peanut butter. I don't like it in big lobs. So this one's perfect because it's super creamy. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon. This is a pretty generous tablespoon, by the way. Okay, 
And again, you can add whatever you like, whatever your preferences are. I do a really good blueberry lemon one sometimes, but I usually, it's me, I go for the peanut butter and chocolate. All right, and I'm just gonna put a sprinkle pumpkin seed on there. Same thing with the coconut, and I'm putting a ton of health and fats in this one too. So it's going to help keep me full for longer. You know, if I were just to just eat a bowl of straight oatmeal, chances are it's not gonna hold me over to lunch, but by adding these healthy fats, it's really gonna help bulk this meal a lot. All right, and a little bit goes a long way with the cacao nib, so just like maybe a teaspoonful or so. Okay, and see, all set. So you can see I have all the toppings on top. There's still plenty of room for the lid. Now tomorrow when I go to eat this, I'm gonna check. It may or may not need some more liquid, but I could just stir them around a little bit, pour some extra almond milk on, and you know, have the consistency that I like. So again, a million different combinations you can use. This just happens to be my favorite. So come up with your own combination. Let me know what you think and share it with the rest of us, okay? Thanks.